Hello everyone, welcome back to Continental Food and Cake TV. If today is your first time here, you're highly, highly welcome. My name is Joy Joy. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make chicken and potato recipe. Tasty, delicious, yummy. What I love about this meal is that in 20, 25 minutes, you put everything together, pop it in the oven and go and have a rest. By the time you know it, your food is ready. So to make this chicken and potato recipe, you're going to need potato and I'm using six large potato next is to peel the skin of the potato you can use a potato peeler but i'm going to use a knife to do that while i'm peeling the potato i'm going to ask you for a favor if it's your first time here and you've not subscribed please hit that button and subscribe also leave your comment and give this video a thumbs up you can also follow me on instagram continentalfood.cake feel free to share this video with your friends and family After peeling the potato, next is to wash the potato until clean. Please wash your potato two to three times to avoid any dirt. Next, cut the potato into medium size. You can also cut the potato to your desired shape. After cutting the potato, you're going to need chicken drums, but you can use any part of the chicken that you like. You're also going to need a well-fried sauce, but I'm going to show you how to make this delicious tomato sauce. To make it, I have my pan in a medium high. To that, I'm adding vegetable oil, enough to cover the surface of the pan. After that, add one tablespoon of butter. Allow the butter to melt into the vegetable oil. Next, add a tablespoon of chopped garlic and stir fry for two to three minutes, stirring it frequently, making sure that it does not burn. Please do not allow your garlic to burn. After stirring for two to three minutes, next step is to add chopped onion. And I'm using two onion for this recipe. Mix together and further fry for one minute, then add your bell peppers chopped, add your chopped tomato and also mix together until it's well, well combined. After mixing until it's well combined, allow the sauce to fry for at least 5 minutes. After 5 minutes, it is time to add the seasoning. Half a teaspoon of curry powder, half a teaspoon of grinded hot chili, add some ginger, at least half a teaspoon. After that, add 4 seasoning pepper corn, then add one and half teaspoon of chicken seasoning, add some salt and mix together until it's well well combined. Do you see how easy it is to make the tomato sauce? It is important that you follow this recipe step by step and make your sauce just like I made it. Because this is where the potato and the chicken is going to soak up the flavor. As in, while baking in the oven, the chicken and the potato is going to absorb the sauce. And by the time you are done baking, your chicken and potato will be tasting delicious, delicious. After mixing until it's well combined, allow the sauce to fry for at least 10 minutes. So after 10 minutes, this is what you're going to get. Well fried sauce and it tastes so delicious as I said before. Take off the heat and allow to cool down completely. Next step is to mix everything together. I forgot to mention my kitchen is blowing up. The aroma, the smell, it smells amazing. So next in a clean bowl, I'm adding the chicken. Then add the potato, which I later realized that the bowl is too small for me to mix everything together. 
To mix it really well, I bring a big pot, then transfer the potato and chicken to the pot. After that, add the fried sauce and mix together. As I said before, this is where the potato and the chicken is going to get the flavor from. So the potato and the chicken is going to absorb the sauce while baking. And by the time you're done, <laughs> your potato and chicken will be tasting so, so delicious. Try this recipe and come back and thank me each time i make this in the house it doesn't last the next day it finish straight away that is how delicious it is add more sauce make sure that the chicken and the potato is well covered or coated with the sauce at this point i'm adding some salt after adding the salt mix together until it's well well combined after mixing until it's well combined the next step is to transfer to a baking tray but before that you want to rub some butter on the surface of your baking tray to add more flavor to the chicken and potato so transfer your potato to the baking tray the remaining sauce do not waste it please add it on top like spread it on top of your potato and chicken to add more flavor as well nothing go for waste don't waste anything like do not waste nothing <laughs> so after that i'm going to also add four seasoning pepper corn on top of the chicken and potato then add handful of frozen spring onion which is optional you don't have to add this i'm just being extra <laughs> You can also add some sweet pepper on top if that's what you like. After that, transfer to a preheated oven 160 degrees Celsius or 320 degrees Fahrenheit for at least 50 minutes to 60 minutes, which is one hour. After baking for one hour, look at that. Yummy, yummy, delicious. This part is my favorite part because this is the time to eat, the time to dig in and eat. Did you see that? delicious delicia this is what i call this so this is how to make potato or chicken and potato recipe very easy to put together please if you've not subscribed to my channel please hit that button and subscribe also leave your comment and give this video a thumbs up thank you for coming back to watch my video to all my returning subscribers thank you so much i love you guys follow me on instagram continentalfood.cake love you all and i will see you in another one bye bye